Hi, you are here for a walkthrough of worksheet number one for solutions to stoichiometry. Uh, this worksheet has five problems and it will cover the three different kinds of stoichiometry problems that there are, solutions to stoichiometry problems that there are. So in the first one, it says what mass uh, in grams of calcium carbonate is required to react with 75 milliliters of a 0.97 molar solution of H2SO4. H2SO4 is um, sulfuric acid. So in this problem, we want to end at grams and we're given milliliters or liters. So we'll use that milliliters and liters first and start there. So 0 0.075 liters, you gotta divide it by a thousand. And then that would be of H2SO4. And if you wanna get from liters into moles, you have to use the molarity. So that 0.97 molar means 0.97 moles per liter. So one liter would go on bottom and 0.97 moles on top. We want to go from the H2SO4 to the calcium carbonate. So it is a one to one ratio. One H2SO4, one sulfuric acid reacts with one CaCO3. However, you want your answer in grams of calcium carbonate. So to come out of the small ratio, we need to know the molar mass of calcium carbonate, which is 100.1 grams per mole of CaCO3. So then you take 0 0.075 times 0 0.97 times 100.1, you end up with about 7.28 grams of CaCO3. So this problem was liters to grams. Um, next problem, it says what volume. So we're gonna end up volume of 0.12 molar silver nitrate is required to react with 10 milliliters of 0.1 fuller 0.14 molar potassium chloride. So this problem is like the third example where you're going to do um, liters of one thing to liters of something else. So start with our 10 milliliters of the potassium chloride because that's the thing that we know and that would be 0 0.01 liters KCl. Convert that into moles by using the molarity. It's 0.14 moles per liter. So one liter equals 0.14 moles for KCl, then you want to go from KCl to AgNO3, which is also a one-to-one -one ratio. So one potassium chloride will react with one Ag silver nitrate. If we want our answer in grams, we'd use molar mass, but we want our answer in um, milliliters because this is in the solution. So that's where the 0.12 molar um, comes in. That means sorry, one liter here is 0.12 moles of AgNO3. This problem, you want your answer in milliliters. So you could stop here, this would get your answer in liters, or I like to just sometimes just tack this last one on and say, oh, um, in one liter of anything is equal to a thousand milliliters. You can just add it so when you're multiplying on your calculator, it's all in one spot. And if you do the math here, 0 0.01 times 0.14, uh, divided by 0 0.12 times 1,000, I ended up with 11.67 milliliters. Next one, number three. What mass of magnesium is required to react completely with 125 milliliters of 0.21 molar solution of hydrochloric acid? This one is like number one that we did up top here. And we're gonna start with milliliters and end with mass. So your 125 milliliters 0.125 liters of HCl and the molarity of the HCl is 0.21 molar so one liter will get you 0.21 moles this is for HCl you want to go from HCl to magnesium that's the mg so it's a two to one ratio two HCl's will react with one magnesium you want your answer in grams again, so you use the molar mass of magnesium, which is 24.3 grams per mole. So then this probably got 0.125 times 0.21 divided by two times 24.3. I ended up with 0.32 grams of magnesium. And number four, uh, how many grams of silver nitrate? So like this last problem, number three, um, are required to react with 15 milliliters of 2.2 molar solution of calcium chloride. So 15 milliliters will start there, but it has to be in liters, so 0 0.015 liters of calcium chloride. And 
that is 2.2 molar. That means in one liter, you'd have 2.2 moles of CaCl2. You're interested in the silver nitrate, so it's a one to two ratio. One calcium chloride reacts with two silver nitrates. Uh, silver nitrate is a solid though, so we can figure out how much of it, how many grams, by using its molar mass, which is about 170. So in this problem you have 0 0.015 times 2.2 times 2 times 169.9, and I ended up with 11.21 grams of silver nitrate. Finally, in the last problem, we've got um, what volume in milliliters of 1.8 molar HCl react completely with four grams of magnesium hydroxide. So this is the opposite of problems number three and four, where we're gonna start with grams and we're gonna end in milliliters. So take your four grams of magnesium hydroxide and the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide is about 58.3 grams. we want to get from magnesium hydroxide to this hydrochloric acid, so it's a one to two ratio. One magnesium hydroxide, one mole of it, will react with two moles of HCl. HCl in this case is a solution. Its molarity is 1.8 moles per liter, so we would have one liter on top and 1.8 moles on bottom. So the cancel out, we want our answer in milliliters. I ran out of space here, but we're gonna take whatever we get here and then multiply it by 1,000 to, um, get our answer in milliliters. So I'm just gonna write times a thousand there, i.e. And if you do all that, your answer ends up being 76.23 milliliters. So there you go, a walkthrough of um, the three different kinds of solutions to stoichiometry problems here represented um, in these five different examples. Thanks for watching, bye.